Yeah, he's he's great. You know, he's been great since he got here. I think Russ is um, very proactive. You know, when it comes to that, wanting you know feedback on timing on his routes, uh, when we're going to get off season work together. We always start you know well before whenever uh, the off season program starts for us, and uh, he's always eager to to get after it. And uh, I think that's why he's improved so much. You know, in the last two or three years, uh, when we traded Mohamed Sanu. I guess, you know, a couple of years ago, he got his first real opportunity to play, you know, a bunch for us in the slot and, um, you know, made huge strides in that second half of that season, but came back in that off season with a, you know, a real hunger to, to get better. And uh, that's continued the last couple of years. He's been great about it. Well, for me, you know, it's it's a different voice in your ear. And, um, you know, when, when you're on the field, you know, it's hard to explain. It's a very strange, it's a very strange deal, right? Like that somebody's just talking to you as you're playing in the middle. And so you got to get used to their, their rhythm, their cadence, um, how they speak, you know, because sometimes it gets, it gets loud in there and um, it's hard. Everybody's, Everybody's tone is different. Everybody's pronunciation is different. Those kind of things. You got to get used to to hearing those guys talk in your headset. And um, for me, you know, today's a, a great opportunity um, to have a little bit of noise. It was great to have the fans in there. Awesome to see them back. Uh, but to have a little bit of noise and to have to kind of listen through that and get a feel for how Arthur communicates on there. And I thought, you know, that was a, a huge a huge benefit for me today. Mm-hmm. I think it's 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 different with everybody, you know. It's um, you know it's no different than a personal relationship that you have in your life. Everyone develops at a at a different rate, and um, you know you try and you try and do all of the things that you can do during the off season or during the preseason uh, to get you as far along, you know, and and to know each other as well as you can. But there's nothing that can replicate, you know, playing a game and going through a game together. And so uh, I think there'll be a lot of growth throughout the season. Um, and, and I look forward to that. But, you know, for the most part, I think, you know, we're, we're pretty far along in comparison to, you know, some of my past experiences. Um, and I think a lot of that has to do, you know, with some familiarity on my end of, of some of the system. It's, it's similar to some things that, you know, I've been a part of in my past. I mean, I, I leave that up to the coaches. Are we, you know, we have constant dialogue about that of, you know, do I need more, do I need less? And, you know, Art's been, he's been great about that so far. So we'll keep addressing that as we keep moving forward during the preseason. But, you know, last year we had none, and you just got to go play. So whatever it is, you got to make the best of it. It's hard to say really anything surprises you because, you know, he came in, he's so talented. But one of the things I was most impressed, you know, with him last year was how much of a better player he was at the end of the year than the beginning and, and his constant, you know, evolution. And I think, you know, he hasn't stopped. You know, that's I, – I, I don't want to say it's surprising, but that's the most encouraging thing I've seen, you know, is that, you know, that growth hasn't plateaued. He just keeps getting a little bit better every day. Uh, I think his pattern recognition, you know, is excellent. I've been around some some really good ones. Brent Grimes, Asante Samuel come to mind, guys that really did a great job of pattern reading. And, um, you know, he's very good at that. He's very good in individual matchups and man coverage, one-on-ones. Um, you know, we see that every day. He does a great job with it. He, he's, I think he'll be a great target for sure. Um, you know, he's very athletic. He's big. He's long. He's got a great wingspan. Uh, but honestly, the, the, the thing I've been most impressed with him is just, you know, his ability to want to work day to day and how humble he is and, you know, how much he wants to get better. And, 
you know, I've been lucky to play around a lot of uh, great players in my career, guys that, you know, will be in the Hall of Fame. And um, they all had that similar trait, right, is that they, you know, one had the talent, and there's no question uh, that they had that, but they also had, you know, a want to get better all the time and a willingness to, to work uh, hard at that. And so uh, that's the thing I'm most impressed with from him is, you know, the first two weeks of camp and the entire off season. He's asking a lot of questions. He's working as hard as he can to, to try and improve, and he needs to continue to do that. And today, how, how in sync were you with that voice in your head? Because the voice in your ear that had, and I guess generally, where are you in the, the rapport building process? Was this in your voice? I felt pretty comfortable today. I think, you know, I probably only had one where, you know, I said, hey, maybe give me that one more time. You know, I didn't catch all of that. And so, uh, all things considered, that's not too bad. Um, you know, I've screwed up play calls before. I'll probably screw up another one or two, um, you know, at some point in my career. But it's, uh, you know, I think we're in a good space. I really do. We got a long way to go before the season starts, and we got some time. But, um, you know, I like the the start that we've had the first week and a half of, of camp. Yeah, for sure. You know, it's it's always fun getting back into the stadium, uh, particularly after last year. It was a very strange year, um, you know, for for everyone. And uh, in terms of playing games, it was a, a really strange year. And so for us to be able to have practice today, have a bunch of fans out there to feel that energy, um, you know, it, it feels great. And I appreciate everybody coming out today to support us. And, um, you know, we thoroughly enjoyed it as as players. I thought they did a great job. You know, I really did. I think, you know, you come into these kind of things, you just want to have a clean operation, make sure there's not a lot of penalties, there's not a lot of mental errors and mistakes. You take care of the football and, you know, you, you make the plays you're supposed to make. And I thought for the most part, guys, you know, Felipe and, and AJ did a really nice job of that today. Yeah, it's all of it. It really is. I mean, it's it's a strange deal because, you know, it's it's it is sometimes it's volume, sometimes it's slow down, sometimes I need it faster. I'm very selfish when it comes to this, right? Like, hey, I need it my way, right? And so I'm, you know, constantly, you know, talking to him about those things. But uh, you just have to get comfortable. It just takes time. And because, you know, it's one thing to do it on the practice field. And it's a very, you know, sterile environment. It's not too crazy. It's another thing to do it in New Orleans or Tampa or up in Charlotte, uh, you know, when, when it's going. And, and you got to – you have to, you know, almost – you have to know what he's saying without hearing it sometimes. I don't know if that makes sense, but um, it's, it's, you just have a feel for, you know, what's coming out. And so, um, you know, that's why, you know, I emphasize a lot of time. I want my helmet on as much as possible and to be on the communicator so we get used to it you know, as much as we can before we get going. And you said that he was really, uh, it was definitely impressive to watch Felipe and AJ in the battle for matchups. As the starter, do you watch and give any input on that battle or give any, anything that you your input on, I guess? Well, not from a, not from a, from a decision-making standpoint. I, I just try and help them as players, you know, as a teammate. If, if they ask me for anything, I try and help them out. If I see something, I try and let them know. Um, you know, I, I feel like I've got, you know, a lot of experience and, and a lot of time on task on some of the things that we're doing. And so, you know, I try and help them out as much as I can with, you know, how I see things or how I approach uh, getting ready, preparing or thinking about things. Uh, we're an open book in that room. And, um, you know, I'm pulling for both those guys. They're both doing a great job. I don't, not really, you know, I, I got enough trying to learn Arthur's voice and like, and stuff like that. You know, I, I try and, 
you know, I think everybody says it, but I try and stay, you know, locked in in the present and uh, focus on, you know, trying to get better at, you know, the age I'm at and the year I'm at and, and trying to be better now than I've ever been. And so that's really, you know, the, the stuff that I think about. But I've always thought, you know, if you worry about late in the season or late in your career or after you're done playing, you know, you're not going to get the things that, that you might want. You have to focus on what's important right now. And that usually helps you get, you know, the end result that you want. It's every day, yeah. you know, it really is. It's every day. Ar Arthur is, you know, he sits in the bulk of our quarterback meetings. Um, you know, he, he's there a lot. And so he's constantly asking, not only me, but, you know, he really wants to get a feel for myself and AJ and Felipe and how we think and what, what we like in certain situations and how we see things. Um, you know, he's expressed that to us, that it's important for him to know how we feel about things and what we're comfortable with. And uh, he pushes certain things on you, you know, stuff that he likes, but he's also very receptive to suggestions. Um, and, you know, and I'm open too. You know, I, I like being pushed to, to try and find new ways to do things better and to, you know, learn new things. I, I always find, I always feel like there's, there's a way that I can find a way to be better, uh, to, to be better than I've been. And so I'm excited about that part of it too. Yeah, I mean, I do like it. <laughs> um, you know, I, I, I think that there are a lot of things. You know, it's interesting. Arthur Smith has, has coached with a lot of people that I've played for um, during my career. And so you see a little bit of Mike Malarkey in there. You see a little bit of, you know, Matt LaFleur. And you see a little bit of Terry Robisky, who he coached with. And, you know, guys that, that I spent a long time with. Uh, and then there's things that are unique and, and his own flavor. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's fun to be a part of that. So I think there's a lot, of, a lot of things that are in it that I can recall from different parts of my career that I feel very comfortable with. And there are a lot, a lot of parts of it that as I, you know, dive deeper into it, I need more reps. I need, I need to get comfortable with some of those things. And you know, that's what training camp's for. It's to, you know, iron out the things that we're going to do, you know, as a team moving forward and get really good at them. All right, thank you.